Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So, hi guys, how you doing? About a month ago, I went to see a show at the Apollo Theatre in the West End called Let the Right One In, and this is my programme for it. Let the Right One In was originally at the Royal Court Theatre, and it got transferred to the West End back in March of this year, because it got rave reviews basically, so I was really looking forward to seeing this because I'd heard great things from loads of people, and even though this is a play, it's not a musical, there was something about it that really made me want to go and see it. Now Let the Right One In is based on a book by a Swedish author, and the book was also made into a film in 2010 I believe. I haven't seen the film nor have I read the book so really I didn't know anything about this play. All I knew was that it's meant to be quite a gruesome kind of scary vampire-esque kind of play and normally I'm not really into vampire stories but again like I said because this play had got such good reviews I just wanted to go and see it and give it a go basically. While we're at it I also want to give a shout out to Dead Has on Instagram. He's one of my viewers and he also recommended this play to me a few months ago so thank you for telling me to go and watch this. And like I said it's been over a month since I saw this so unfortunately not all the details are still with me but I still thought I'd tell you my thoughts about it because I really did enjoy this play and this play is actually closing in about 10 days and I think if you get a chance to see it before it closes you should uh, and I'll tell you why in a second. Basically this play is a love story between a teenage boy called Oscar and a vampire girl called Eli. Literally that's basically what it is. Um, obviously there's more to the story but the main focus of the story is uh, the love between these two characters. But Eli's character is really interesting because she's a vampire which means that even though she's like hundreds of years of age she still looks young and she'll never actually grow old even though she actually is old she still looks like a teenager and clearly that means that whoever she falls in love with is going to end up getting old and you know she's gonna stay the same and it's just kind of weird because of that. There's a character called Hacken in the story and he's sort of known as the father of Eli the vampire but that's not obviously the case. Hacken actually really loves Eli and has loved her for many years but obviously Hacken's grown old whereas Eli stayed the same and it's quite a complicated relationship actually quite fascinating. From Oscar's point of view you also get to see his life at school and at the gym and how he gets bullied by pretty much all his classmates which is really sad. You also get to meet Oscar's parents uh, and learn about like how his mother is quite an alcoholic person, quite a character I suppose, and his dad also has his own problems and basically what you get is that Oscar grew up not really getting enough love from his parents and family and anybody really. Even at the gym, his gym teacher isn't too supportive and yeah, that kind of really um, shows Oscar's character and really makes you feel sorry for him in a way and I definitely felt that anyway throughout the show. Now Oscar is played by an actor called Martin Quinn. He was fantastic in the part. He was so good at portraying this kind of awkward, shy teenager and like I said, you know, you, it was very easy to feel for him and feel sorry for him and want him to succeed in the story. Like, I don't know, he was just a very lovable character and I thought he was also very good at showing his love um, for Eli when he meets her. Because obviously at first he's a bit like, uh, you're weird, you smell and stuff, but gradually he realises that he actually does love her and, you know, there were some very sweet moments between the two of them actually in the show, moments that were just so sweet that it just touched my heart. I know it's very cheesy, but it really did. Eli as well. Eli is played by an actress called Rebecca Benson, and I thought she was also fantastic. Like, it's really weird and difficult, I imagine, playing a vampire, especially the way they decided to portray her in this particular show. Like, she wasn't the typical vampire that you see in vampire movies. She actually looked like quite an ordinary girl, but obviously the makeup that they had on her was slightly different, so you, you kind of knew from the start that she's a bit different, because she just, even her little mannerisms were very different, and you unique and kind of weird and intriguing in a way which I'm guessing is why Oscar gets fascinated by her and decides to go and talk to her and stuff. I don't know, I just thought Rebecca did an excellent job at portraying Eli's character. Because it's really weird because like I said Eli is meant to be, you know, the girl, even though she's a vampire and she's like really old. Um, she looks young, she looks like a teenage girl and yet from the very first time you see her on stage you do know, even if you haven't seen the film or read the book, you do realise that there's something wrong with her. and. You know, I think that's all down to um, Rebecca's acting, really. I also thought she did a good job at showing her gradual love for um, Oscar and just kind of her vulnerability as well, even though she's very powerful because she's a vampire. She's also quite innocent at times and it's just very weird. It's a very 
interesting character. I really liked her character actually. Hakan is played by Clive Mendes. He was great as well. Um, you know, you could really see how possessive he was uh, over Eli and how he was willing to do things, like crazy things, just because of this vampire girl. And I don't know, like, again, I thought his relationship with Eli was quite interesting to watch. I also thought Oscar's classmates, schoolmates or whatever, were really good. Angus Miller is one of them. He played a character called Torkel. And then Christian or Ortega. Uh, played a character called Mickey, and both of them were really good. I mean, very annoying because they keep bullying poor Oscar, but at the same time, they were very convincing in their roles, and I enjoyed their performances. The whole cast was really good, in fact. I'm obviously not going to go through the whole list of cast, but they were all really good. I think the best thing, though, about the show was the sets. The sets are incredible. Like, even when you first enter the Apollo Theatre Auditorium, you just immediately get transported into this crazy world of like trees and forests and snow and you just suddenly feel like eerie and you feel on the edge somehow and that's even before the show started which I think is incredible that you know the sets alone can do that to you. I love the sets, I thought they were amazing and particularly in Act 2 there are some really incredible scene changes and some great set pieces that I really enjoyed. There's a swimming pool in Act 2 which I don't want to give too much away but Oscar goes inside it for quite a long time. Like, I don't understand how they did it, but the, get, the guy playing Oscar, um, Martin Quinn, was underwater literally for like, I don't know, it felt like he, he was there for like five minutes or something. And you could see him, like he was genuinely underwater. So I don't understand how he stayed alive. But it was, that was quite a scary moment, to be honest. That was one of those moments where I think everybody was on the edge. And it's quite a climatic part of the show anyway. So I thought it was just done very, very well. And I loved it. In fact, the whole show I thought was really good. Very different. It's probably one of the most different plays that I've ever seen. I mean, I don't go to see plays often. But this as a play was just like a, nothing I'd ever seen before. And I liked it. I thought it was really good. Like, the flow was really good. I felt for pretty much all the characters, I understood them, I connected with them, and there was just something sweet about it, like, even though it's like a vampire story, and there are, there's quite a lot of blood involved in some of the scenes, so as a warning, if you don't like that sort of thing, don't go and see it, because there was about, I don't know, three or four, mom four moments in the show where you could actually see blood, obviously it's not real blood, but it was quite gruesome to watch if you don't like that kind of thing. But despite that, there were also some really sweet, cute, and even funny moments in the show, which made the show really fun to watch overall like I don't know I just I really enjoyed it I thought it was great I do have to mention the director of this show John Tiffany I thought he did an excellent job and also the movement director as well Stephen Huggett both did incredible jobs and I you know you could really see it um, in the staging of the show now I'm not really sure if the show is meant to be set in Scotland or whatever but everybody in the show had Scottish accents so I'm guessing it was meant to be somewhere set in Scotland, I don't know. But I did love the fact that, you know, all the actors were Scottish. I mean, I don't know if they were actually Scottish but they had Scottish accents and in a really weird way it made it feel more authentic even though it's like a story about vampires but just the fact that the accents were all different to what you normally hear. Like normally when you go and see plays and whatever, the accents tend to be either American or English. So it was nice to see something different and I don't know, I really like that for some really weird reason. I've never seen a play you know, with, with like Scottish accents all throughout the show, so that was quite interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about this play. Let the right one in at the Apollo Theatre in the West End. It's on Shaftesbury Avenue, if you don't know where the theatre is. And it's playing until the 30th of August, as far as I'm aware. Go and see it. I know, it's a great show, it's a great play. And if you have seen it already, do let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!